y'all, Lita here again, and welcome back to my kitchen. Uh, today, I'm going to be making white chocolate candy corn buckeyes. Um, the first candy that I usually think of at this time of year is candy corn. Um, so, for the next uh, few recipes that I make, I am going to be using candy corn in a lot of those recipes. Um, so anyway, let's just go ahead and get started, and I'm going to show you how to make white chocolate candy corn buckeyes. Okay, to get started on our uh, white chocolate candy corn buckeyes, um, you're going to need a medium size bowl. Now this recipe is fairly easy and it's quick and, and that's what I like about this recipe. Uh, it gets done pretty fast. Um, you're going to need uh, one cup of peanut butter. You can use any brand of peanut butter that you like. You're going to need um, two cups of powdered sugar. You're going to need one fourth cup of butter. That's uh, room temperature, so it's going to be nice and soft for you. It'll be easy to mix up that way. And also a one half cup of uh, chopped up candy corns. I'm just going to mix this up really well together. Uh, it probably will work better if you just use a, um, a fork. We're going to make sure that it's well blended and that the candy corn pieces are well distributed throughout the, um, um, the Buckeyes here. Okay, so our um, Buckeye mixture is all really mixed well together. And I tell you, the best way to mix this up is just take it and mix it up with your hands. That's what I ended up doing. Uh, just mixed it really, really well. That's going to be your best tool to mix uh, this cookie recipe up. Okay, so next thing you're going to do is just take a um, regular cookie sheet, cover it with some wax paper or some parchment paper. And you're just going to make a little um, small balls here, about the size of a, oh, maybe a ping pong ball or just about one, one half inch round ball, just like this. And you're just going to place them on your, um, your wax paper. And um, after I get all these uh, made into uh, nice little balls, I'm going to melt um, some white chocolate, about eight ounces, um, thereabout is what you're going to um, need for this amount of, of um, dough. But, you know, if you want yours maybe um, dipped twice, you're going to need a little bit more. So, uh, you know, it's just gonna depend on how much chocolate you leave um, on these Buckeyes. So I'm just going to continue rolling here then I'm going to melt my chocolate and I will show you how to um, get these cute little um, Buckeyes and they just uh, taste so wonderful especially if you are a peanut butter like peanut butter lover like I am you're going to love these Buckeyes. So um, I have our uh, white chocolate kind of melted all here already, and I use uh, use Ghirardelli white chocolate uh, wafers uh, for my melting chocolate. That's my favorite, but you can use um, any kind that that you like. And um, I just take a toothpick, regular old toothpick, and um, I dip, I stick this toothpick into the um, the dough here, and I just um, dip it into my chocolate and. Um, just cover it up and then I just kind of let it drip off like this and then it's going to go right back on uh, to my my wax paper sheet now at this point if you want you can um, decorate your um, your um, Buckeye or you can leave it just like um, that just plain white chocolate, but um, I'll decorate a couple here and show you what you can do after I uh, dip a couple and then we'll put some decorations on top of these Buckeyes. Okay, so I've got a couple of Buckeyes here that uh, have the chocolate on them. You can put a piece of candy corn on them or you can just use some, any kind of sprinkles or anything like that that you have um, laying around the house, you know, or you can go buy some, but just a little bit um, on the top don't want to drown them in sprinkles, but if you just put a little bit on it, just kind of makes it look kind of 
uh, gives it a little bit more color and it's kind of festive so that's always so much fun and, and uh, your kids will love this part of um, this part of this uh, Buckeye recipe. I don't want too many on there and you can just kind of see you can do these any way uh, that you like and um, they just taste really really good no matter what you do to these things so I'm just going to continue dipping them and um, decorating and I'll show you after I get all finished here okay so my white chocolate uh, candy corn buckeyes are all decorated aren't they so cute um, what I'm going to do next with these is I'm going to pop them in the refrigerator and just let them get nice and hard and um, that way I can go ahead and put them on a pretty serving tray and they won't all stick together or anything. So into the fridge they go till they're nice and hard and we'll have a look at them when they're all ready. Okay, y'all, thanks so much for watching. I hope that you will give these white chocolate candy corn buckeyes a try. They are so yummy. Can you see them? Oh, yes. My grandchildren are coming tonight and they are going to be oh so happy that their Nana made some buckeyes. So uh, I will see you guys again next time. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye now.